Welcome back to the family. Back again with another video. Back again with another Big Brother Season 21 video. Sorry, y'all. I am out of state right now, and I'm just like in a hotel room recording this with my phone. So a little different. I know it's such a close up. I actually really hate it, and I know that the background is really, really bad. But I just had to come on here and talk about this show. So I get off while I'm on this vacation. It's a business trip, so I get off like really early in the morning, like. 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, something like that. So I just watched the episode, avoided spoilers all day, by the way, while I was at work, on social media. Watched this episode, and boy, what the heck happened? I keep up with spoilers, in case, like, if y'all haven't seen my other videos, I keep up with spoilers by watching other people. But this must have really been a crazy day, because this was a weird episode of Big Brother. I actually really, I don't know, it was just, like, so weird. I don't know, but... Can somebody tell me what's going on in the house? After I watch this, I'm probably watch some of my live feed people, uh, spoiler people, so I can know what's going on in this house because craziness. Uh, if y'all didn't see my last video, uh, Big Brother, I think y'all should watch that because I actually really like that. I reacted to the um, HOH endurance competition, and that's where we're starting from. So Holly won the HOH. I really just want to talk about the eviction episode. I'll always go through this. But Holly won the HOH. Um... Do, 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 Kat and, or Tommy and Christy. Tommy and Christy won some poison ivy, poison ivy, um, type of, what's it called? Um, punishment, punishment. But I mean, that didn't really do anything. They just couldn't shower or go outside. So it must suck for them. But I mean, it's nice to see it on, on TV. But to be honest, I think Big Brother, like, you really need to watch the live feeds to be a Big Brother fan. Because like, I feel like we miss a lot of good stuff if you only watch the TV show. Like, me, I don't watch the live feeds, but I keep up with it. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know. An Annalise was really upset because of Jackson. And, like, it show on the episode and stuff and in the live feeds. But my thing is, Annalise, you should not be that mad. Because at the end of the day, you did lose. So, like, I can understand if, like, I don't know. Like, I know Holly wanted to throw it or whatever. But at the end of the day, she didn't. And you didn't win. So, I mean, how mad could you really be at Jackson? Be mad at yourself because you didn't win. You could have won. Simple as that. And at the end of the day, what did you miss out on? A shower that you couldn't be in with Jack? Let's be honest. I'm so glad. Ooh, I can't wait to get the cat speech because, hmm, Annalise, you need to be making that same speech. So, Holly nominates Sam and Nick. Uh, Kat's, Kat had an idea. She said, if one of them comes down, just put me up. But the thing with this is... I think this was a good idea, actually, if if Holly put Kat up. But Kat said this idea in front of other people. Kat should have said this idea only to Annalise, only to Holly. So that way, if Holly can act like it was her idea, and then everybody would just, you know, think, oh, they're not that close. But since Kat said it in a room with other people, they see, you know, that y'all are close. And you just like, who were you fooling with that? I'm confused because either Nick, so if Sam's going home, well, Nick or Sam, they would have went home. So you were only fooled them. So I don't understand that at all. So uh, Nick won the veto. I gotta say, I kind of like that veto, but then I kind of don't. I don't mind them using animals inside um, these challenges, but I just feel like this one was kind of bad because Tommy, I heard that they edited it different but Tommy actually got disqualified for being too rough with the animals but my thing is how do you expect like I don't think you should be rough manhandling the animals but the challenge was to grab an animal and move it into a cage like I don't know I just I wasn't a fan of it man tell me what y'all think because at the end of the day like you the challenge is for them to move the animal so it's gonna be rough so Make up your mind there. I don't know. I think that was probably a bad challenge. I mean, I don't know. And I got mixed feelings on it. Uh, so, Holly. So, then on one of the episodes, they show how Holly. Oh, Nick won. I don't know if I mentioned that. So, they show how Holly was mad at Annalise because Annalise was talking. They thought. They felt like. First of all, Annalise decided to play the game. She decided to play Big Brother and everybody got upset with her. She got some information from Christy and Tommy and went back and told. Holly and 
Holly and Jackson. So can we do the Jackson face? I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it because then what if I become a meme? But Jackson got his big moment on Big Brother. He's not officially a meme. That's going to be a meme. I think that's going to go. That's going to extend. That's not going to just be a Big Brother meme. That's going to be used. That was funny. Like, I would have never expected him to make that face. Like, that is hilarious. But anyway, where was I? Uh, yeah, and Elise decided to play the game. She she was loyal to Jackson and Holly, and they went, well, Jackson got upset. And he told Tommy and Christy, and it seemed like Holly was more believing Tommy and Christy than Annalise. It was kind of weird. So I just have to say, what happened to Jack? Like, what happened to Jack? Like, not only on this episode and the last episode and the episode before that, like, he was not featured, but even on the feeds, like, he is not really saying anything. I guess since all the minorities are out the house except for Jessica, he don't really care no more. Wow. So four minorities left in a row, and now Jack is done. He doesn't really do anything. He's, like, irrelevant. He turned into Annalise. Uh, oddly enough, the one he's sleeping with. But anyway, so uh talked about the Jackson phase, Jack who, Christy. Oh, so now we get to the episode. I am naming this the Christy episode. Now, out of everything that they show, I feel like they showed a whole bunch of nothing. If I'm honest, y'all know how I feel about Christy. My favorite player. I've said it in every single episode. Go back. Uh, Christy, I love Christy. I, I mean, I, I don't like her because of the big group, but she's always been my favorite like to win because like uh, her gameplay. I do think she was playing a... No, not a good game. I don't know. But I just feel like they showed a whole bunch of nothing. Because Christy is not like she's this big mastermind that's doing all this stuff. To me, actions speak louder than words. And to me, what they showed on this episode was a whole bunch of Christy doing words. She didn't do anything, really. Like, why were they so upset? She didn't do anything. She said a bunch of words. She did not make an action. She never voted against anybody. She didn't use her power against anybody. She didn't do anything... To where it's like, bam, she's a good player. If anything, she proved to be a bad player because y'all all are talking about her, right? Am I right? I don't know. Like, I don't think it was that big a deal. Like, they made this whole episode about Christy. Like, and yes, they left so much out that I know of. But what actually happened this morning? Like, or yesterday morning? Like, what really happened? I really want to know. Uh, so then uh, we go to the live show and they showed this Tommy thing. I didn't really get it. What was that? Like, that's something that he do back home. Tommy is extra as, oh, he jumping around. I, I just, I don't like Tommy. So, then, I don't know what went on in this house today, but then it got to cat speech. And I thought she was about to bomb it because of she's not a good talker, which it don't seem like anybody inside this house is a good talker. Oh, Nicole was a good talker with her speech. Or no, she had the really short speech. Who was the one that had a really good speech? And I said, like, that was the best speech since, who went home? Isabel oh, Isabella had a good speech. But, um, yeah, so Kat's speech, it was, she she's not a good talker. She stumbled over some words a lot. But her message that she sent, I loved it. And I'm so glad that she did that. Uh, I don't know what happened in the house, but it seemed like something, like, and I'm probably wrong, but it seemed like it came up that she slept with um, Jackson. It seemed like it came up inside the house. But, I mean, like, everybody know that. You do know that, like. You you slept with a boy before you even kissed him, and you only knew him for a couple of days. Oh, well. Anyway, but I like that she did that, and, like, she basically said she don't want her parents to be, you know, upset about how she's acting. And I think uh, Annalise should do the same thing, because Annalise, you're sleeping with people, too, on national TV, and talking about, well, I don't even want to get into it. But then Sam's speech... I feel bad that I dislike Sam so much um, for no reason, just because of his political, political views. But then I thought about him like, he has strong political views, and I just, you know, thought it was one way. It could be the other way. He might be strong with the other way, still strong political view. But he was a part of the whole Kimmy bashing session. Anybody that was in that room, I'm not a fan of. So, yeah, I know Christy was in that room. Not a fan of that. So I guess I can forgive him. Because he did like Kimmy. He was more friends with Kimmy. But I don't know. So now let's just get to the speech. Uh, it's on to um, 
So, you know, I like to play this game of who didn't give a shout out. This, today, the people that didn't give shout outs was just Jack. And what the heck? Who is Jack? I don't know. And what was up with? I don't know. He's a weirdo. Why do they always have Tommy vote last? Have y'all noticed that? Because I do. I noticed it on, like, the second episode. I was like, oh, he's voting last again. And then third episode, like, he always votes last. They, like, trying to do something. Like, I don't understand why he always vote last. And it's not in alphabetical order either. Even though Christy did go, well, no, Annalise would have went first. So, yeah. So, why was everybody so emotional? Like, emotional as ever. Julie jumped on the screen like, this is the best day ever. Like, she actually watched the feeds or something. I was confused. But then, we go to the vote, or no, the vote reveal. And, what's his name? Uh... Sam was evicted. His speech or his interview with Julie, nothing special. Uh, his goodbye messages, I actually did kind of feel like, all right, Nick and Sam, they were really, they they were good. They became good friends. So I like that. I like that good friendships come out of this. He Nick called um, Sam's kids his new nephews and stuff like that. So that was nice to see. HOH competition, we didn't get to see anything. And I don't even really understand it. Why couldn't they just have them look at all that stuff before and then let the, us see the HOH competition? That was weird. But anyway, I really want to know what went on inside the house. We can discuss it in the comments if y'all want. Um, yeah, I, after all this. And then, like, uh, Julie was like, 3 o'clock today, you were staying. They flipped the vote. What happened? Like, Julie, you was really making us suspense, like leaving us in a lot of suspense because Sunday's episode is probably gonna just gonna be a big old recap of what happened before this eviction. But like, I hope some of it is on like YouTube. I, I want to watch it. I'm about to watch like Mad Rose D and um, Carter Matt and who else do I watch? That's about it. I'm about to watch them like right now to see what went on with this morning's show. I really want to know. But that's it. Um, spoiler alert, if you don't want to know spoilers of the HOH, click off now. I saw that Jess won HOH. It looked like she want to go after Jack and Sis. I saw that on the, um, on the, uh, YouTube, but I don't know what, what's going on with the six people. I feel like this was actually a week where Jess shouldn't have won. Maybe none of the, uh, the middle people should have won. It should have just been... Because apparently the six people was all going against each other. But I'm happy. Well, well, no, nah, because she's going after Jack and Sis, then. It's so ironic that I feel like Jack is such a nobody that I don't want him to leave right now. Like, I really hate Jackson. Oh, uh, uh, do I, yeah, I think I hate Jackson more than Jack. But Jack's, Jack was was really mean to the black people, so... But Jackson was too. Like, who the best of the worst? I feel like Holly's the best of the worst, actually. Holly's the best of the worst. Um, Cause out of the six, I would, out of Nick too, Nick and Isabella, I saw out of Grateful, I think Holly was the best of the worst because they all were the worst. Uh, yeah, and that's it. I really like Kat. Like, she's grown on me so much, so, so much. I really want her to make it far. Uh, until next time, y'all, let's talk about Big Brother inside the comments down below. Catch you later.